Hey guys, it's Wilps and welcome to my Season 1 Light Armor Hatchet Sword and Shield PvP Guide. This is my second most played build. It's one of the best, if not the best, ranged counter build. You have multiple gap closer and escape skills allowing you to play aggressively but also disengage safely. So if you like fast paced gameplay with high mobility and high single target burst, this is for you. The stat is going to be 200 strength, 150 dex, and 150 con with the food buff. Any extra points can go into strength for more damage, which is what I do, or con for more HP. Both hatchet and swords primary stat is strength and secondary is dex. So we can split the stats like this for the maximum weapon damage and also get the benefit of 150 dex perk to reduce 10 less stamina on dodge. This is my hatchetry. Pretty standard, Berserk, Feral Rush, and Social Distance. This is my Sword Tree. Uh, we take 11 points on the left side to get the leadership. So we take everything except for these two. We do not block in this build. And none of the points are really wasted, they are really useful. Uh, on the right side, we take one Shield Rush, and we do not upgrade the Shield Rush because if you upgrade it, it adds an animation so that you cannot connect your next hit. With just one shield rush, you can connect into shield bash or left click. The elemental resistance here is not a fort, this is actually a flat 10% reduction. Then we fully upgrade the shield bash for extra duration. This extra duration does not get affected by freedom. So even with 5 freedom, we are still able to do our combo. Then you take final blow to increase your third attack in your light attack chain by 15%. Then you take Recuperation, all incoming healing and regeneration is increased by 10%. This affects your pots as well, so try to drink your pots with Sword Out if possible. Moving on to a gear, this sword is gonna be Attunement, then Rogue or Pen Backstab, then Keen Empowered or Empowered Leaping Strike. And luckily, the second beast is actually a named weapon, and there are two. The one is Sword of the Champion from PvP Track, or Shadow's Edge from Brimstone Chest. So to start this build, get an achievement Rogue 2 Perker Sword, then farm for the named ones, and then go for the Beast when you have the money. The Shield Perk is gonna depend on your Sword. The idea is to get what your Sword doesn't have. So let's say you have a Beast Sword with achievement Rogue, and Kin Empowered. You're gonna want to have Flame Con, Enchanted, and Kin Ejagged. If your sword has jag, then your shield should have empowered. I rate enchanted over vicious because the recent nerf to the crit and also the skill damage, your light attack hits the hardest. Roughly on average, the light attacks hit for like 2k's plus, uh, when the skills hit for like 1k's. So you get more value from enchanted. But if you have the named swords, uh, you can have both, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, so if you're using champion sword, you need to get enchanted on your shield. If you're using Shadow's Edge, you need to get Vicious on your shield. Obviously, the Flamecon shields need to be crafted or get lucky in mutated dungeons. The next best perk to replace Flamecon is Keen. I don't rate Shield Bash or Shield Rush in Light Armor builds. If Shield Bash was based on base duration of the buff, not the current duration, it would have been more useful. And Shield Rush is pretty much dead perk because 45 for Light Armor is almost irrelevant. And also, you don't stay long enough with your sword after you hit your shield rush. You are most likely to connect into a shield bash, swap to hatchet, then do a feral rush. You do not use shield rush to get fought and trade hits. You use it to connect into combo and get a kill, or gap close on a target that's already running away. So you're not even taking any hits. So I see no value in this perk. It's perk for tanks. This hatchet will be attunement and rogue or pen backstab and keen ejected or keen empowered. Hatchet's second beast is also named Hatchet, uh, it's Berserker's Axe from PvP Track. Really really good for this build as you can maximize your Feral Rush damage from behind. So as a starter, you wanna get a 2 perker Attunement Rogue Hatchet till you find Berserker's Axe, then upgrade to Beast. Alright, for armors, to stay light load, all our armor pieces need to be light with round shield. You want resilient and elemental aversions as two main perks. Um, the must-have perks are Leaping Strike, if you don't have it on your weapon, and Shirking Energy. And the best third perk is Flamecon, then Refreshing, then Freedom or Vigor. 
And if you find that even two Perka, Resilient, and Elliot version pieces are expensive for you, the cheaper option would be to get a physical air version instead and slot a Ruby gem. This amulet is gonna be stamina recovery, health, and thrust or fire protection. Ring is gonna be Invic Punishment, Hardy, and Slash Damage. Moto Empowerment is still really good for this build and for OPR. I personally still use Moto Empowerment. For Earring is Refreshing Toast, Healthy Toast, and Refreshing or Regen. For Gems, you want Dot Rune Glass Opal on Weapon with different elemental on each so they don't override each other. Any elemental is fine, just avoid fire. For Armor, there are no good Rune Glass for melee. The Punishing Rune Glass is still bugged. Um, there is still one second internal cooldown, so we use the normal gems. Um, there is really no answer to how you gem, it all depends on how you want to play. You can go full emerald and ruby and just not fight the melees at all. But I just want to recommend to stay around at least 25% plus for thrust and fire with your gems and aversions. But if you want the most balanced setup to be in all sorts of fights and also be in walls, go 8 onyx. For Harun, Cunning Cannon is best at securing kills. It really goes well with the build. You can also play Brutal Dado for AoE Burst or Stalwart Stormform if you want extra survivability. And I'll leave the links in my description for the Beast build, my current build, and also the budget build. So you can check out for yourself.